Leo really likes the new motorhome. Hey, buddy, you like it? I think he does. So here is our new motorhome. 1976 GMC. It's the propane area. I believe... I'm not exactly sure how much, how big the tank is. Nineteen point three gallons. Spare tire. Two AC vents, and uh, I have this. I have the storage pod that goes back in the middle. See the pine, the pine trees are dropping. Fix that. You've got to love these big old windows. I mean, I can't wait to get put this sucker in the ideal location. Six thousand watt Onan generator. It slides out, but I can't do that with the camera in my hand. We've got new tires all the way around. This little deal, water fill, and uh, generator cord, or actually the generator's hardwired in. It's been redone, and uh, I got one cord works all the house. One cord works all the house in one AC unit, and then another cord works the back AC unit. One AC unit will run off the generator, one won't. If you get in here, this is the airbag system. And uh, this is where you raise it and lower it. So up front I can show you there's an air compressor. And uh, at the dash you block it off and then you open it here. Air your air and it will jack it up or lower it down. Exhaust for the furnace. It's an actual original thermometer. The GMC original thermometer from in you see what the temperature is outside from inside. CB antenna. I don't know about you, but I think that's a mean looking machine. Brake, water, that's the air pump down there. So you turn on the air pump and you'll air up the system. And then inside, once you get inside, then there's levers that you can uh, control the airbags with. Uh, I can also manually fill the air there. Battery, oil, wiring, all the hoses have been redone, brake lines, fuel lines, all that's been redone. They all had to be re redone because of the ethanol and the fuel, the older hoses don't seem to like the ethanol. It 
gums up the hoses and makes little balls and then they get in the engine so on these older ones that, that all has to be redone buddy it's the new home hey guys <laughs> the front area you can see those views we're gonna get the upholstery redone going to redo the carpet we haven't decided up here yet I'm still contemplating on what we're going to do here you access the engine under here these are the controls I was telling you about about the airbags so up front you use the air compressor you air up the system and then here while you're going down the road you have it on hold if I want to lower I would switch to lower and then go back to the airbag and release the valve and then lower it same thing with raise if I wanted to raise it I'd switch this to raise and then go to whichever airbag I wanted to raise and then there's another valve back there that I would raise it up CB which is on got some storage under here the previous owner built this little cabinet here which this would have been a couch on this side and then this little seat would have been over here with a dinette table and another seat facing it <clears throat> I kind of like this arrangement better because we can make our own little table or whatever but it gives you a little wider space I believe and then under here I got to do some organizing but this is all the spare parts. You can see the alternator and under here is vents for the furnace. But a little child safety so they don't open when you're driving. A little shelf to raise. You can see the vents access panel. Sink has a filter, water filter. That'll be nice. There's the furnace. All right, the monitoring systems here: gas, battery, water tank, and the holding tank. And then these are for the generator up here. And then this, you start the generator here. Uh, we got porch light, floor lights, galley lights, and the water pump. And then in here is your onboard vacuum system, which is pretty neat. But I think what we're going to do is take this out and put in shelves, and then that way we can put canned goods in here canned goods and spices a three burner stove take off the aluminum foil little oven Smallest microwave I've ever seen. More storage. And you got storage up above this couch. These are all the manuals that came with. This is like the GMC Bible. It's got the 
every part number, maintenance. I mean, everything you can think of is in here. All this is from all the rallies and technical support sessions they had. So he kept all the newsletters. So everybody's experiences over the years is documented in here. So I got to go through these and read and I'll get to learn a lot from other people's mistakes or problems or ideas, solutions they've come up with. More storage. Well-made drawers, dovetailed. If you see, made by GMC. And then here is the breaker box. This is the switch from generator to shore power. My water heater, or water heater here. A little bitty storage, not very much down there. This would be the closet. Mirror. And then as you come back, here's the bed area. And so you can see how I was talking about all the windows. I'm blind. Then we got some storage down here. Storage above. More storage above. Here's your bathroom. A little dark, hopefully you can see a little. But it's a wet bath. Uh, everything you need. Got a sink, medicine cabinet. Yep. I'm gonna go in. Here's the keys. Okay. They're right here. So that's pretty much it, guys. I love it. But, I mean, it's not very big, as you can tell. Uh, we're gonna replace the carpet, put hardwood floors from back there all the way to here. And I want to leave carpet up here just for insulation to keep the heat from the engine out. Um, let's see. Oh, and then these seats. So the seats spin around. <clears throat> and then also the arms go up like this. I thought that was pretty cool. I'd never seen anything like that before. Pretty. Lock back in place. Oh, uh, let's see. So yeah, carpet here, hardwood here. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think I may rebuild this. I'm not sure yet possibly this one I'm gonna have to do some little thinking I don't know I may may redo this and this I'm not sure uh, definitely gonna repaint the air conditioner vents these we may do some uh, painting on the cabinets here we haven't decided like I said this is this is as is this is how we bought it we haven't changed anything the only thing I've done is brought in my CDs 
Uh, we're going to replace the fans. I'm going to get some nice metal ones. Uh, because, I mean, the, the dash AC doesn't work. And from what I found out is they never were that great. So whenever they did go out, people never fixed them. They just, it's just too big an area to try to cool with the little bitty vents. And so you just leave with the window open and drive with the windows open. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get rid of all the plaid or the tartan material. Um, the lady that owned it before the guy I bought it from she was Scottish and she did the interior all in her family tartan. Uh, Jerry replaced all the liner. This is all the stuff that you would do bathrooms with. So it's all waterproof. Um, there's storage under the bed. Generators over there. There's a water tank over here. So I got some storage under the bed in the middle. Got a storage thing that's going to go on top. Uh, it's the thermostat for the furnace but I don't plan to be too many places I got to use a furnace big old windows <whistles> come on Which, from what I can see, it looks like the awning may be the same material or the same pattern. I, I haven't opened it up yet. But there she is, 1976 GMC. Maybe we'll start to suck her up and hear it. <clears throat> so down here, this one is a uh, fuel injection. Fuel. So what I can do is crank that on. Pump the gas about four or five times. Hear this bad boy. Again, here's all my gauges. You got RPM, water, transmission temperature, my vacuum pool, and this is a an analog temperature, and this is an audible. This one right here, $150 for that one. And then of course I got the oil pressure, fuel. That's it. 